Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Sci-Fi Wire Emerald City Comic Con live stage. I'm Karima, your host, and yes, my voice is literally on the last day of this convention, so bear with us. Um, my next guest bas basically is from Portland, Oregon, Oni Press, which basically has been publishing both original and licensed comics, like Rick and Morty, Scott Pilgrim, Queen and Country, Letter 44, and here to talk to us about Oni's 2018 lineup is publisher James Lucas Jones. Welcome. And, and my voice is about the same place Oh, great, is. good. So we're just gonna be over here, like, <laughs> trying to be heard together. That's right. So, now we've had Oni press creators on stage like this weekend. Um, we had Steens and Ivy Weir here for archi archival um, quality. And we also had Charles Soule for Letter 44. Yeah. Now, the last issue, I think, of Letter 44 just dropped. Uh, the last volume. The last the volume. La the last okay. trade paperback. Tell us uh, about that. Um, I mean, Letter 44 is this epic science fiction series that kind of looks, uh, picks up after a newly elected president has taken office and what happens uh, when he opens the drawer of the desk in the Oval Office and finds the traditional letter that the outgoing president has left him uh, with uh, instructions and advice of, on what, how to handle everything, except that it's not the traditional letter. It is a letter that says, we discovered that there are some kind of alien force building something out just uh, outside of uh, Jupiter's orbit, and we don't know what it is or who it is, and uh, good luck with that. <laughs> so it uh, is a series that splits its time both between like the political impact of that and the the on Earth impact of what that does, uh, along with a group of uh, scientists and astronauts who are going to make first contact. Uh, it's a really epic series that uh, has a great high concept log line, but what Charles uh, Soule and Alberto uh, Jimenez, who are, uh, or not Alberto Jimenez, I'm sorry, um, Alberto Albuquerque, were able to uh, do with that book uh, in just in terms of escalation and um, continuing to kind of ramp things up. It, it's just one of the most epic uh, sagas in all of comics, and we're really proud to have published it, and we're really excited for people uh, to see the end of it. And, and people can still by the entire Yeah, the series. entire series run is available. Okay, great, so if you're just form. hearing about this for the first time, you can still buy it. Um, um, and then this summer, we're launching new deluxe editions that have, are oversized hardcovers, uh, the first one of which uh, comes out uh, this, you know, later this year. Wonderful. What else is coming out? I've seen a few new titles. Um, we have so much great stuff for the spring. I know you already mentioned archival quality. Uh, also out this month is a new graphic novel, Saifu. Uh, by Yehudi Mercado. Um, that book is really special to me. Uh, it's the last book that I edited before moving from editor-in-chief over to publisher. Uh, and it's this uh, kid's comic that is one part Ben 10, one part uh, Run DMC. It's, oh, wow. Um, uh, basically, this uh, young kid in Brooklyn in the early 80s manages to scratch the perfect beat, and it opens an interdimensional gateway that sends him on like kind of an Alice in Wonderland adventure uh, through all of these music-inspired uh, cartoon villains that he has to defeat in order to save the world. Wow, when does that one drop? Uh, that one comes out on March 14th. Okay, great. And then I also heard about Ballad of Sang. Ballad of Sang is a new uh, comic series that we have uh, launching uh, next week. Uh, Ed Brisson, who has done a lot of work over at Marvel recently with Old Man Logan and a variety of other titles. Uh, it's one of his uh, only creator-owned books right now. It is a really absurd, really action-packed, very violent uh, book about a child assassin uh, whose mentor is killed, and then he has to go on a uh, basically a revenge journey. Um, it's super over the top, super uh, bombastic, and just a lot of fun. So that sounds like one that like anime fans and manga fans will like. Absolutely, like it's it's definitely inspired by the uh, like hardcore action Asian cinema that. Ed is a big fan of.